Hello everyone, this is Dagnir, once more, and um, recently episode 2 came out for this game, The Wolf Among Us, called Smoke and Mirrors, so of course since I started this series I decided to finish it. Um, speaking of series, uh, my Mass Effect one, uh, I believe I already mentioned it in one video, but I am planning to finish it, it's just that the reason why I don't right now is because uh, I reinstalled my windows and uh, forgot to back up the saves. So yeah, I need to redo the beginning. And I actually had to play episode 1 once more, uh, 2 in this game, because yeah, save didn't save. Or rather I didn't back up. Anyway, episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. said if one of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! Fucking lap dog. Come sniffing around this part of town. Rich fucks and the woodlands need a shake. <laughs> yeah, right, Big B. <sighs> now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Just played the silent. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? 
No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Uh, how is it going on? How just happened? Seriously. Oh. We have to go now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Don't forget the photo! Yeah, exactly. Uh, and the camera? I don't believe the light works in the electronics. But I guess we'll find out that in the future. What the hell? <coughs> the quantire uh, tire's shade was uh, coming through the car. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We um we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. But it is suspicious. I know what you're thinking, Big B. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it.
He's saying please don't change anything. He will do it, everything he can. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Blue beard? Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Someone... Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. Sure. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. So I'm not gonna beat him. Oh, Big B. We both know That's definitely. Going anywhere. I'm gonna play a nice guy. Sometimes talking is better than beating because. Uh, just confuse people and they uh, tell you the truth anyway. When you're beating there, they'll tell you anything you want to hear in panic and stuff like that. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. I should be leading the interrogation. We can't have that. Why not? I'm saving that. Oh yeah. Nice. This is really... What's the point of this? Yeah, that's here. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, alright. Wanna see a trick? Bravo. No, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Uh, let me handle this. It actually sounds like... So where's uh, your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith... I don't know where he is now. Bluebeard sounds like but Lee from didn't Walking Dead. anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Ooh. 
All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. This Money. Is... You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Come on, Dean. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. Nah, she took something from my boss. Your boss? Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Can we you know there's gonna be a smack you. Need some assist you just carry this around? Always handy that way. It couldn't hurt, I guess. Yeah, tell me everything. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. <laughs> That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Stop! What the fuck do you think you're doing? Hey, hey, hey. Smash, smash, Q, Q. Wait, I know that dress. What What's going on, Captain? Snow. What the fuck?